I think it's important to talk about Israel's enemies, especially the Philistines. And they're mentioned all through 1st and 2nd Samuel. Israel's enemies play a key role in the nation demanding a king. They wanted a ruler that would go out and fight their battles for them like the other nations had. That is a part of the catalyst for them prompting Samuel to go to the Lord and find somebody for them. During the reigns of Saul, David, and Solomon, we read about a number of nations that they had battles with. But the one that keeps creeping up every couple of chapters are the Philistines. We are in one of the Philistine cities. This is the city of Ashdod. Now these ruins around us are actually from Crusader times, so they're much later than the time of the United Kingdom. Do we know where the Iron Age Ashdod was? Yes, a lot of those ruins are about a mile inland. This was one of the five cities of the Philistine Pentapolis. Ashdod and Ashkelon and Gaza are right here very close to the coast. Gath and Ekron are about eight or nine miles inland on the eastern side of the coastal plain. As we read through the book of 1 Samuel, the really first interaction we have with them comes with a battle between the Israelites and the Philistines a few miles north of here. The Israelites lost the first battle, and so they thought they would take their good luck charm as the Ark of the Covenant into battle with them. Well, unfortunately, the Philistines captured the Ark and brought it to the city of Ashdod. Now that did not go well for them. It didn't. When the Ark of the Covenant, the Lord's mercy seat, is brought into Dagon's temple, and when the Philistines come in the next day, Dagon, this stone statue, is on its face in front of the Ark of the Covenant. And so you have their idol in a position of worship and adoration in front of God's mercy seat. And they prop him back up and don't make a whole lot about it until the next day when he's down again, but his head has been removed and his hands have been removed and they're lying on the threshold of his temple. God has humiliated, he has defeated what these people are worshiping. Once the citizens of Ashdod got tired of that, they sent the Ark of the Covenant over to Gath, and then it stayed there for a little while, and they sent it to Ekron. And at that point, the Philistines made the decision, we need to send this back to the Israelites, and they sent it up the Sorek Valley. It is so gorgeous right here. Just beyond here as you move east, it's still very fertile. Why would the Philistines want to continue heading east into the Jordan Rift Valley? Well, like any nation of that time, they want to expand their borders and they want to control more people. And of course, if they were able to conquer the Israelites, they would use them as slaves for their own good. Not only do we know where a lot of the major events took place on the Israel side of things, but even their enemies, they're historically grounded and rooted. We know where their locations were. I'm Craig. And I'm Stu, and we're the founders of Appian Media. We really hope that you've enjoyed the content that you've just seen. This was only made available through the generous donations of so many of you. We believe that the world should have biblically accurate, visually engaging content about the Bible, and it should be free for everyone. We would encourage you to visit the membership page of appianmedia.org and consider becoming a reoccurring member. Everything that you donate to Appian Media is tax deductible. However you decide to donate, we really appreciate your support.